Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at this Motorola Droid phone here from Verizon. Um, you can see it has a cracked screen on it and would need to get replaced. It does seem like it's taking a charge but the screen's so cracked it doesn't actually power up or do anything. And the reason why we're taking a look at it today is, is we're going to try to use the iFixit toolkit here to take it apart. I don't have any intention of replacing the screen on it. In fact, this is just a, a phone for this purpose, just for practicing. Um, somebody gave it to me. It was just one of those things. So I took it just for that purpose. And I'm going to get a little bit more of this kit out here just so we can make it a little bit easier on ourselves. I already have the anti-static mat down. I have a, a wrist strap. But again, I don't really intend on putting this back together. So it's more of like an exploratory video than anything. Um, if you happen to have this phone, this may help you get this thing apart but like I said it's not going to be for the purposes of rebuilding it unless of course screens are cheap enough then it may be possible after all it is still an Android device with a camera and whatnot so it still has some kind of use to it but nevertheless let me get the rest of some of this kit out here and break with you all right now I should point out that I've never actually taken one of these apart before so this is going to be a whole new thing for me too um, I, I'm going to kind of do this blind as best as I can in, in other words, I'm not going to look up some kind of a guide to how to do this, although I have plenty of tools available to me to do that. I want to see if I could try to do this on my own first before I, you know, go the book way and figure out how to do it the right way. And I say that because it's kind of a challenge. It's like a little bit of a puzzle. I can show you over here that there are two screw holes in the bottom and there is a Torx bit in there. I have a variety of bits over here again with the iFixit kit. So I'm going to go ahead and select the proper bit for that. Which looks like it's going to be either this T4 or T5. T5. And I'm going to take this uh, piece here and go ahead and start disassembling this where possible. Now I have this um, magnetic mat over here. And that will allow me to take these screws out and put them in place on this mat and write down what they're for which is handy for reassembling this and this is a, you know a pretty good procedure for this anyway especially when you have these types of tools now I, I did mention I am on an anti-static mat here and I do have the wrist stuff just sitting to the side because I'm grounded on the floor I'm actually barefoot right now and this is uh, an uncarpeted room so it's a wood floor and you know, I don't generally have a problem with static electricity in here. And, and like I did mention, I don't really intend on putting this together right now because I don't have all the proper pieces to completely do a fix on it. So I got the two screws out the bottom. And let's see what that actually did for me here. This case isn't in the best of shape. Of course, you can see by the screen. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here for a second and I'm going to do some prodding around with the various tools I have here like the spudgers and stuff and see if any of this case will separate. Alright, what I managed to do is to take out one of the spudger tools here and run it along the bottom and that revealed that this plastic clip which has this little tab on it popped off and that was just held in by some just double stick tape. Um, there is a little slit here and that really didn't do a terrible amount but that piece was loose anyway because it was kind of broken off there also you can see we can insert this spudger over here and kind of lift up this bottom corner and looking at it there are snaps that go along the side here also this kit comes with one of these sim pin removal tips and you can see that this phone's got this hole right here where if you just slip this in you can pull the sim card right out with it that's nice and easy uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that tool and I'm just going to gently pry around this edge here and I'm going to try to remove this front face. Now, I did notice that there are these little plastic um, clips up here at the top and they look like that they're separate and I might be able to pop them out. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a shot and see what happens with them. There may be more screws up there at the top. Okay, managed to get everything apart. All I had to do was take off the two pieces of Kapton tape that were on the connectors and the wires just slid right out. And as you can see, this is all one assembly. The screen is underneath this piece of metal and it's kind of plaster welded in along the sides. 
and then all the control pieces are on top here so these just plug in and this is just one module so what you would do is, is just simply reconnect all the connectors which sit like that and then just slide the phone back together re-screw it in and that's basically it that trim piece didn't need to actually come out but it was loose and I like I said this is an exploratory video just poking around here anyway and well there's not much more to look at really in here everything here is kind of module the camera comes out uh, if you could f flip this over the battery is going to be in the other side so if you wanted to replace the battery that's pretty much how you would do that too well you know what for the hell of it let's tear the rest of this apart and see what's on the other side of it I systemically went around the board and took out all the perimeter screws as well as disconnected all remaining connectors you can see that there is one left up here I have to take out the hardest one to get out was this battery connector that was kind of a pain it just slid out but the tolerances there were a little bit tight a bit dodgy but it came out and I'm assuming that's the battery because of the heavy contacts on it but we'll see and once I get this connector out this should be able to just pop out you can see in the background here we have the case screws and then I also went ahead and pulled out the jack top plate here and the camera came out. Like I said, these are all modular pieces so that makes that pretty easy to work on. Here's a sneaky little trick. Underneath this, well, there was a plastic piece here, but underneath this plastic piece you can see there's another connector. And this is actually the leads for the wire, um, for the wire leads for the speaker on the other side. If I flip this over here, you can kind of see way in the back there. I can't get this apart any further until I remove that connector. And it was underneath this piece of plastic right here. And this is it. This is the whole smartphone right here. And while it may not look like a lot to some people out there, I can tell you from working on other cell phones in the past, it's really, really remarkable how much technology is actually on this board. And not only that, but how thin this board is. Now, I can take a guesstimate that all these um, metal shielded components here, which are shielded because of the RF frequency of the cell phone and whatnot, I, I can take a, a venture of a guess that each one of these is a module, and you only really need just wires connecting the individual modules and that's it I mean this board is, is thin like I don't want to do it but you can almost just crack this right in half it's so thin all the cell phones I've worked on like back in the past like old Nextel phones in the early 2000s the boards themselves were as thick as this entire piece let alone the components on it and some of them had two boards stacked on top of each other with just these big metal caps everywhere so it's really remarkable that they get this all down in this tiny little device. Here's that little, uh, just that little buzzer motor. And the speaker sat up here at the top. You can see this little housing. In fact, there's the other half of it. And that's, that's all she wrote. I mean, there's the battery. So if you wanted to remove that, you would just pop this out. Yeah, this, uh, this connector here is going to be for the side buttons. There's your jack, which, interestingly, the jack, once you take that back plate off, becomes completely exposed. So if you want to actually go in there and clean this, it'd probably be really easy to do so right now. And yeah, that's basically it. The camera is pulled out. This is the, looks like there's a microphone here, maybe. Just a little slit, and that's the LED. Obviously, that's your speaker. And I'm sure there's going to be another microphone on the front for the one you're using as a cell phone. And then the speaker on the main front piece here. You're going to have another camera here. You're going to have another speaker here. There's a microphone here. Then you have the digitizer and the LCD screen. And that's all one piece. So really when you think about it, there ain't a whole lot going on on this phone. But there's a hell of a lot going on on this phone. It's really remarkable. The engineering that's been put into this. Is, is pretty crazy but that's all I really have for this video there's not really any point in showing how to put this together because I don't really intend on putting it together um, I've done this in other videos where I kind of just leave the stuff in a bag and 
that's basically the end of it. I mean, a lot of these devices that I take apart either don't work or they shouldn't have worked to begin with. And I'm just going to leave them like that. And sometimes, you know, maybe someone will have this phone and the camera will go bad on them or something. And I happen to have a spare camera. Or, you know, maybe I will reassemble it and just use it as practice to take it apart and put it back together. Maybe I will get a screen for it. Depends on how much they cost, you know. At any rate, it's just going to go in a bag and end up just like all my other parts in a bag someplace. And maybe one day I'll have a video just on the different parts I have lying around here. But with that, I'd like to thank you for watching. If you're not only a subscriber, I really appreciate if you would subscribe. That's going to help grow this channel. And if you are a subscriber, thank you very much for tuning in again. And we'll have another video up next time.